Okay, today we're heading to the back of the shop, doing something a little different. Today we have a big red boat. This is the U-36 Miss US Unlimited Hydroplane Vintage. I help out on this a little bit every now and then. But today we are going to rewire the entire electrical system. And uh, we've added some things to it, added an engine monitor and uh, some few basic electrical items. And uh, we're gonna redo the system and, and get it legit up to modern standards. And here's the old girl. She's down for maintenance right now. Spring is right around the corner. Actually, spring is here. We have a meet in Tavares in about a month, I believe. Still need to drop the engine in there. But I'm gonna redo all my stuff behind the panel right now. We have a circuit breaker gang right in here. We're gonna do away with that because when the seat is installed, you can't see them. And we have a gremlin somewhere tripping one of those breakers. But what we're gonna do is install circuit breaker switches all right in here. Have a nice uh, machined plate here. We're gonna throw in place of that. Right now I have multiple systems running off singular breakers and so uh, we have one tripping we don't know what the culprit is because there's multiple systems running off that one breaker. So we're going to break everything out individually, get it redone. She has a uh, GPS recording speedometer, also has a race pack mounted up there in the front for all of our engine parameters. And that's how we're calculating what the speeds are. The GPS antenna for the race pack is right up there in the front antenna for the speedo is right there but other than that it's a pretty basic system bilge pumps uh, uh, the starting circuit there's no generator circuit which is nice uh, fuel boost pump and a few other real basic systems but like I said we're gonna break them all out individually so they're each on their own dedicated circuit this will be good our battery and main bus system right here not going to mess with that much. That's all pretty much going to stay the same. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is change the power supply for the main battery relay. And the basic description of this system, what makes it somewhat complicated, it's a 24 volt uh, main system, but uh, we also have some 12 volt components. So uh, we basically have two buses, 24 and a 12 and I do all the splitting basically just right here in the battery area and uh, run it up through some breakers in the side and then up underneath the panel I have a couple of bus bars so one is 12, one is 24 and then one for all the grounds and here we are up underneath the panel I'm gonna try and get you guys some good shots this is really hard to do because there's not much space underneath here you have the steering rack right here and then uh, our foot pedals are right next to us here, but uh, that's the basic setup we have. I tried to keep it clean and organized. I've already started tearing out some of this stuff. But we're going to get it all cleaned up, mainly over in this area. We're going to redo a lot of this stuff and, and probably redo our gang bars as well. Well, as much as I wanted to, video the entire process I'm sure 80 hours worth of watching a dude wire something would have put you to sleep a long time ago so here's our finished product we uh, just did a bunch of cleaning and organizing added circuit breaker switches to everything on the 12 volt side and just did some general tidying up here and there when you compare that to the before I think it looks quite a bit better and the final test we have circuit breakers down here all are in that's charge that's our 12 volt 24 volt we're gonna go master shut off in that will give us juice we can go battery, get our enunciator, that's our oil pressure, probably oil pressure. All right, up is uh, master and fuel boost. Yep. GPS speedometer, that should power up. Yep, good. Race pack, you only have an LED up there on the race pack in the bow. You won't be able to see it from here, but I know that works. 
And then we have a bilge pump. Should be able to hear those running. It works. The middle, the, the GPS speedo, the race pack, and the bilge pumps, those are all 12 volt, including the enunciator. Uh, everything else, mainly for the engine itself, is going to be 24. The start circuit, the primer, fuel boost, that's all 24 volt. 